from Center. Hello, my lovelies. Ginio here, the author with no less name, and it's time for another Let's Play A Big Farm Story. The farming game with a story. Grandpa is still missing. It's put out by Good Game Studios, who you might know from their browser game, Big Farm. Go figure. So, last time, we started working through more of our clues of what we needed to do to find Grandpa. And I uh, went and harvested those carrots. It's a brand new day, and you wouldn't know it right now by looking out the window, but it's raining outside. So let's... um. Let's make the carrot soup. We needed 10 carrots and 10 water to make carrot soup, and we can only make five at a time. Fortunately, it doesn't take any time at all to make carrot soup. It's no secret that fresh homemade soup tastes a thousand times better than canned soup, but I can't deny that it's much faster. Very true, Rita. So we just have to, we have to do this twice in order to get our carrot soup. The Pike brother, uh, Pike here, wanted fish salad. Or we think it's Pike. We're not sure at this point. <laughs> so we can make one fish salad. And while we're here, let's take a quick look at this. So he, they want two carrots. All right, Mr. Alpaca, you get going and give us some more screws. And they want a three bass and four rainbow trout. Um, fish, which we can do both, but, you know, the alpaca's out, so we'll get those when he comes back. As you can see, it is raining out, so what does... And Jacob wants four animal treats. If at all possible, I could use a few animal treats for the farm, please. But the thing is, we don't have any... I don't believe we have any animal treats. Maybe that would be in this section. Oh, we have five animal treats <laughs> that they gave us in our bag. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> five animal treats, huh? Well, since, you know, we just used up the carrots, we might as well find some more. You never know when you might need some carrots. <laughs> Alright, Jacob, you want to treat and I don't tend to use treats very really often because they're there to upgrade your animal levels. And that's, you know, not something that I'm really too worried about most of the time. So, alright. You know, the animals are going to level up when they level up. You're, you're giving them treats might do it faster. If you're doing, that's, you know, if you want to sell them. If you want to sell lots of treats, or lots of animals and stuff, that's good on you, but, you know, if you don't need to, you don't need to. So Jacob wants the treats, so we can give him the treats. About your request, you have more animals than I do. Mighty kind of you, my last shipment was unfortunately delayed. Thank you very much. Alright. So now we are level 3, and he gives us fancy animal treats in the return. So... I guess that's, um, I guess we can say that's, <laughs> why not? We'll just grab another 15 energy while we're at it. Whee! Pick this up. So we can go give Claire carrot soup and the fish soup and see what, what happens next. raining in town. Everybody has some umbrellas and it's like, can I even just get a hat? I'd like a hat. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hi. So don't you bring me the dishes? Yes, we have. I've prepared the food. <laughs> Fantastic! You are a sweet cupcake. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm. Hmm. Not bad. Wait, the taste is almost perfect, mm. but something is missing. Mm -hmm. Ah, je ne sais quoi. I know, this is salt. And we can't just add salt now? Of course, but I have to say it needs pure salt. Salt for it with the best energies. Hmm. I trust your expert judgment. What salt do you need? The rusty hook has sea salt. 
Please, can you go to there and ask for a tweet? Oh. And hurry, you don't want to miss the beautiful cleansing ritual. All right, but the cooking magazine. Mm -hmm. I promise we will find it after the ritual. So, she wants salt from the rusty hook. Go figure. <laughs> means we might have to sell some fish to get it. Now we have fish salad. Which actually is kind of yummy. Alright. Uh, bail then, lover. You have my fish with you. The, the eye changed again, didn't it? Here's the fish salad. Time to hold up your end of the deal. Fish what? Shiver me timbers, you break my heart. You're welcome? Oh. Welcome! This is the worst thing you could have given me! Worse than rotten fish! But, but, you asked for it. And here comes another guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something be smelling mighty delicious! We have a problem. Did you bring me the fish salad, Mickey? Thank you! <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Th there are two of you? <laughs> of course there are. Pike and I are brothers. I guess you forgot to mention your name, brother. That old sea dog is grunt. <sighs> Didn't hear the name from the landlubber either. <laughs> Water down the river. You know, when you met the landlubber, you should have mentioned your name, then I could have mentioned my name. You, know, you shouldn't have let me assume you were Pike. Again, we are both welcome to you, Jenny. It's nice to meet you, but my grandfather is still missing. Hey, we'll tell you. Walter came in a while back. Not a bad fisherman himself. <laughs> he bought rope and rigor. Bare necessities for fishing with traps. Traps? That doesn't make much sense. Let's see what Rita thinks of. Thank you guys, uh, I guess. To avoid future confusion, you don't happen to have another brother, do you? <laughs> no, just the two of us. But you'll never really know. Grunt! Haha! <laughs> Good luck, Landlubber. Don't worry too much about Walter. He's as tough as shark meat. Have you ever actually ate shark? Because shark is not tough. You were engineer you've had shark? Yes, I've had shark. <laughs> It's not tough. And if you get it fresh, it actually tastes really good. Alright, so we need to buy these salts and go back to Claire. This is kind of weird, but I love to eat lemons with sea salt as a snack. I can't remember where I got this from. Maybe from my time at university, says Rita. Well, <laughs> Rita, did you go to university in Italy? Because I understand that it's very common thing to do in Italy is to eat a tree-ripened lemon with salt. Because tree-ripened lemons are not like grocery store lemons. <laughs> They're very sweet. Most food, if you leave it on the vine, turns sweet. That's just the way it is. Alright. Oh, hey! Salute! How are you today? Hmm? Ah, there you are. Do you have the salt? Yes, I do. The Rusty Hook place is crazy, though. Oh. Mercy! This is excellent work. <laughs> and now your reward. Come, you watch this unique ritual. How lucky you are! In the rain. Okay. I guess. As long as I get my magazine. <laughs> She's gonna... But, but, the magazine! <clears throat> Shh! I need to concentrate now. So she's gonna run out. She's throwing the clover. And the sea salt together, I guess. Is she... On the four corners, or at least the three corners of the 54. Mm. <sighs> there. Maybe it'll be all better. Now it's all sparkly. Mm -hmm. I'm not sweeping that up. <laughs> Do you feel it? Little restaurant. It feels happy! Magnifique! I do. It feels cleansed at peace. Or I don't really feel anything. Or this was totally underwhelming. Uh, I, that's pretty nice. See? It is, isn't it amazing? Can I have the magazine now, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monster! Give me a moment. The restaurant is happy now. It will help. Hmm. I feel it. We. Oui, it is close. Hmm. Oh, man, there it is. Oh. Real luck. I hope it helps. Uh, thanks, Claire. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was that was 
like she said. I, I think that was a little mm. underwhelming, but okay. Why am I talking to? Oh, Matilda's in a bad mood. Well, let's. We will do that. Sometimes you gotta save some of this stuff. You know. Let's talk to her. Sam, ah. what brings me here? Actually, I have a favor to ask. It's about Shady. She's sitting on something. A clue, maybe, to where my grandfather disappeared. Hmm? And she won't move. Not an inch. Typical cat, right? I've never met such a scary cat, and yeah, what a crazy beast, which is all, you know, the same. Haha, <laughs> 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 that's my girl. Well, it's not guaranteed to work, but she does like a special fish snack. Do you have any? Mm -mm. Nope, sorry, but it should be easy enough to cook it on your own. Here is the recipe. <laughs> But one ingredient you can only get from the rusty hook. All right. Thanks, Sam. Oh, look. We leveled up again. Let's grab a construction token. Hopefully I'll remember that. And next time get a farming token. Oh, pebble. We need pebbles. We use up all our pebbles. <laughs> all right. So... We have to go all the way back to the rusty hook because we forgot to talk Amelia to Amelia on the way, or not Amelia, to Sam on the way here. No, silly. Hmm. Find the right diet for Connor. Test a new cologne. Peter made fun of my current one yesterday. Find the book Lydia wanted to borrow. Get more treats from Mo. Uh, get vegetables from market. Seasonal. So oh, it looks like a to-do list for Nathan. I would give it back to him, but there's no, you know... Hopefully he will remember everything. <laughs> Alright, so we need to grab Word. some oil here from the rusty hook. <laughs> Fish oil, eat your vegetables, they say. Tis good for you, they say. I'll eat them all right, but not without the only oil dressing that makes any sense. Well, there are lots of oil dressings, you know, you could try Italian dressing, Caesar salad dressing. Italian, uh, vine raspberry vinaigrette. <laughs> Balsamic vinegar and oil. <laughs> if you wish to season your vegetables. Mm. <gasps> Running all over the Make shady some yummy fish on a stick. It's a fish on a spit, sorry. Very close. So it's a one fish oil and one rainbow trout. Hooray! Remember to turn it around enough or else you'll end up with ashes. Good point. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can, you know, deliver have him deliver this for some a little bit of money. Some tiles, because you know we need tiles. It's still raining. Raining, raining, raining. Right. To the woods. You would think the cat would just leave because of its the rain, but he is stubborn, stubborn kitty. Oh, 
he's asleep, all wrapped up. Let's give him this fish on a spit and get him out of here. Here! <laughs> she must be getting really pissed at us. None of that now. Look what I've got for you. Doesn't that smell nice here? Come on. Good girl. Thanks, Shady. And off she goes. Hmm, red fabric. What was Grandpa up to? So, our clues so far are red fabric, wicker and rope, and something, a cooking magazine. Something, I, I don't know. Okay, where's the exit? Exit. Let's go back to Rita. What's the ring? Can you see the rainbow in the ring right there? Yeah, see? There's a little rainbow right here. Isn't that so cool? Get out at the right time of day. I thought that was a nice little touch. Okay. <laughs> Onwards to Rita. <laughs> it feels like we're wasting material time, um, energy, but. What is this goose doing out of the goose? Well, that's funky. Oops. I meant to go to the carpenters. Oh well. Mm. It's getting late, all the lights are turning on. Well, hopefully Rita won't mind. She's the one in search of the story, after all. We just want to find Grandpa. I finally figured out what my grandpa bought at the Westy Hook. Rope and rigor. Pike and Grunt think this could have been used for traps. Huh? Traps? That doesn't make much sense. Maybe something to hide in? Well, what would he be hiding from? And you can make a lot of these materials, even a swing. Okay, so we can make a lot with these materials, even hmm? a swing. A swing, hmm? Also an interesting idea. Hmm. Well, let's think further about it. So far, so good. Come back as soon as you've found out more. Well, we have found out more. Mm -hmm. Good day, fellow sleuth. What have you got for me? I found the cooking magazine. Here. Mm. Curious. Very curious. Look, here, a page has been torn. A picture of something. What is it? Mm, the article mentions a famous cook doing something. Why would my grandpa take a picture out of a uh -uh. cooking magazine? That's not the right question. Why wouldn't he want others to see the picture? Huh? Maybe the picture was your grandfather. It makes sense. He could be a world famous cook. And that makes no sense at all. Or I guess it could be. Or of course, that makes perfect sense. That makes no mm -hmm. sense at all. Mm -hmm. A detective can and should question hypothesis. But don't be too quick to judge. There's a reason why I earned the title of world class detective at summer camp. Really, Rita? We found this red fabric in the woods. <laughs> hmm, this looks really valuable. Maybe from a carpet? A carpet? Well, what would my grandpa want to do with a carpet? Or, isn't this a bit thin for a carpet? Isn't this a bit thin for a carpet? <gasps> An important detail. You are a fast learner, so it has to be a very valuable carpet. <gasps> isn't it exciting to put these pieces of the puzzle together? <laughs> Now that we have everything together, it all makes sense. It does. You're about to spe spew another far-fetched theory, aren't you? I thought it would. Uh, I'm gonna go in the middle. Uh -huh. Yes, but we should meet up with Matilda to discuss my results. She'll want to hear this. <laughs> okay then. All right, we got a farming token. I remembered this time. So let's go talk to Matilda, who is supposedly grumpy, but we'll um deal with the... 
<laughs> All right, listen closely, for I've solved the mystery of Walter's disappearance. Your grandpa, a world famous cook, but he doesn't want to be, so he hid here. <gasps> but they oh. found him, and now they want to hold a big gal for him with a red carpet and everything. Mm -hmm. So he panicked, grabbed some materials, and now hiding somewhere deep in the woods. Dot dot dot. Matilda. Dot dot dot. Rita. Dot dot dot. Oh. Yes, I know. This sounds crazy. The clues were just not helpful at all. It could be anything. Phew, for a moment, I thought you really believed that nonsense, or disappointing, and you advertised yourself as a great detective. Don't worry, Rita. Or I had some strange ideas about all the clues myself. <laughs> I'm going with few. I, I, you really <laughs> didn't believe it. Okay. A good detective must also be able to recognize and admit when he is stuck in a dead end. We need to go back to the start, Jenny. Could we look at the letter again, Matilda? Sure, but we read it ten times already. Let me see. Oh, wait, it's the wrong way around. <gasps> What's that? There's something written on the back. Mm, yeah. Here it is. Let me see. You're right. A life is too short not to take risk. Right, Matty? And thanks again for lending me your book on how to build hot air balloons. <laughs> My book! I remember now. Walter did mention that he wanted to fly a hot air balloon. Mm hmm. He really should have brought back the book right now. It was my father's. Matilda! You knew all along? Well, Rita, I think we have our answer. <laughs> this is great. What a story. But if he was in the air when the storm came, the wind could have pushed him anywhere. The wind! Nathan will be able to tell which direction the wind was blowing that day. <laughs> I think we might find your grandpa after all. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you both. And let's visit Nathan right away then. Take heart, Ginny. Walter is a strong man. We'll find him safe and sound, I'm sure. Well, no. <laughs> we need to talk to Nathan. We have um, <laughs> definitely talked around a lot today, so let's um, call it a session. Hmm. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Bless. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video.